uh, dear friends in our previous lecture we discussed some methods by which we can prepare pyrrole and uh, derivative of pyrroles today similarly we will see what are the various methods by which we can prepare furan furan and its uh, derivatives first uh, let us see uh, preparation of furan we have uh, discussed its structure in my uh, previous lectures on the structures of furan uh, so uh, you you know its structure it is an aromatic compound so if we have to write its diene structure then it can be written like this so it has two lone pair of electrons this is our furan now let us see how we can prepare furan first i will see a method of preparation of furan uh, the first method is from mucic acid in uh, this is similar to the reaction we have done for uh, pyrrole where we used ammonium mucic mucic mucate now it is uh, mucic acid because we don't require nitrogen so this is our uh, mucic acid now if we uh, do its uh, distillation dry uh, distillation then uh, it upon dry distillation we get this compound this compound is called furoic acid now to get furan we have to do its decarboxylation which can easily be done upon heating if we heat this furoic acid then it undergoes decarboxylation and what we get is furan so this is the method to prepare furan from mu mucic acid now let us move to next method next one is from furfural we can also prepare furan from furfural so furfural is uh, this compound so you can see we have to remove just this aldehyde uh, group this uh, you might have uh, uh, known how to remove this compound first we can do its oxidation Uh, doing its oxidation uh, with the uh, uh, potassium dichromate acidic solution of we we know that uh, acidic solution of potassium dichromate uh, is a good oxidizing agent so we get furoic acid now uh, this is similar to the previous method now furoic acid can easily produce furan upon heating it undergoes decarboxylation and uh, we get furan next method is decarbonylation of furfural uh, again uh, here first it is converted to carboxylic acid then uh, upon decarboxylation it produces furan now there is one another method uh, that is a commercial this method is used on a commercial scale, commercial scale. Uh, this method is d carbonylation means the removal of co group decarbonylation of for furan uh, this is a commercial method uh, commercially met used method means this method is used for the commercial on a large scale commercial production of furan okay simply what we have is this furfural then if uh, we heat it in steam in the presence of silver oxide as a catalyst ag2o silver oxide silver oxide is used as a catalyst so carbon monoxide this uh, group gets removed so what we get is we are left with furan 
so this is again a method by which uh, we can uh, produce uh, furan from furfural and this furfural you can see uh, we have done two methods in which furfural is used for the production of furan so furfural can easily be obtained by treatment of furfural can be obtained by treatment of pentosis with hydrochloric acid let us see so pentosis means five OH groups CH OH CH two O H CH CHO O H so five carbon atoms one two three four five polyhydroxy compounds with five carbon atoms is called pentose it is a pentose sugar HCl uh, glucose is a hexo sugar it is hexose so it is pentose upon treatment with HCl so this is a carbohydrate we get furfural so from furfural we have seen two methods by which we can produce furan so next is uh, preparation of furan derivatives preparation of furan uh, derivatives here my intention is just to uh, show you the various methods to prepare uh, these five membered heterocyclic compounds so i am not discussing these mechanisms in detail so that we can discuss uh, in some other lecture again uh, the here uh, method is pal nor synthesis is also uh, used for the synthesis of a furan here we basically use dehydration dehydration of 1,4 dicarbonyl compound so basically we dehydrating agents that are used uh, dehydrating agents uh, that can be used is P2O5 can be used phosphorus pentoxide uh, zinc chloride can be used or we can also use sulfuric acid okay these can be used uh, as a dehydrating agents let us see the uh, now let us write the reaction CH2 one for uh, dicarbonyl compound again uh, P2O5 heat uh, minus water and uh, what we get is this furan derivative 2,5 uh, dimethyl furan 2,5 dimethyl furan now let let us move to next method next method is the feast binary method feast uh, binary synthesis so in this uh, synthesis basically there is a reaction between uh, reaction uh, between uh, beta keto ester and alpha halo keto so if you remember pyrrol there we also used ammonia but now we don't require ammonia as nitrogen is not required so simply we have beta keto ester CH2 C double bond O this we also use in the synthesis of uh, pyrrol and then we have this compound alpha haloketone this is your alpha chloroacetone simply pyridine 
is used as a solvent pyridine minus hcl minus water it will simply generate a derivative of what you call it coo c2h5 derivative of furon so these are some methods uh, by which we can synthesize furon and its derivatives so thank you very much for your kind attention in the next lecture we will discuss how we can prepare thiophene and its derivatives thank you